logarithmic differentiation part one this example here uh, this function uh, if we tried to do this with a quotient rule that is find dy dx with a quotient rule we'd have a lot of trouble and so we're going to look for y prime uh, using logarithmic differentiation. And the first thing we do is we say that if well, if two functions y and this are equal, then uh, the the logs are equal. And so we say that we take the log of both sides. Now we can do a lot of expansion here with this using the uh, properties of logarithms. And the first thing we can do is take uh, this is a quotient, so we can take the top minus the bottom. And that's what I've done here is the log of the top of that expression. Notice I changed it to also to um, a fractional exponent here because we can use that later. And uh, here we have uh, minus the log of the bottom. This is a product, so we can change this into a sum. And we have to be careful when we do this because uh, we'll have to put it in parentheses because we're going to have to distribute the negative here uh, to the two positive values, two positive terms, that is. And so. Uh, <clears throat> we've got it somewhat expanded. Now I can bring the uh, exponents out front, can I? And that's what I'm going to do next. Here we go with this. Uh, I've got the one fourth out front, I got the two out front, and the one half out front. Now all I have to do is simplify this a little, distribute. Okay. Now we've got it expanded as, as much as we can. And we notice that if we differentiate implicitly, and that's the next step, step three, differentiate implicitly, uh, that these are very easy. Um, of course, the log of y is y prime over y, and this becomes uh, five, uh, one fourth times five uh, x minus seven prime over five x minus seven, and these become very simple derivatives. You might stop uh, the movie and convince yourself that this is all of this is true. And then the final step, of course, is to multiply both sides by y. And uh, we're almost done. In fact, we have y prime, what y prime is. But we can make this all in terms of x, uh, x if we want, because we know what y is from the uh, expression in the very beginning. y equals, um, here it is, substitute in for y. y equals this. Uh, uh, fourth root of 5x minus 7 over x squared times the square root of 3x plus 1. So you put that in front and there you've taken the derivative.